really glad to have him back. I think a bunch of you are here to see him. Give a warm welcome for Greg Stewart. Hey, I sorry I want to bring everybody up to speed. If you've seen before, you know that I usually get up here and tell some jokes about trying to find a girlfriend in the uh, trials and tribulations of online dating. Well, I'm here to tell you tonight that I've met someone. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, it's been about two months, and we did meet online. And um, what do I want to say? Oh, yeah, I really wish I hadn't met her. She's pure evil. <laughs> It's incredible. We can talk about her tonight. She's not here. She told me last week she wasn't coming because comedy is not really her thing. <laughs> I realized in the past few weeks that pointing out my shortcomings is actually her thing. <laughs> She's not supportive in any way. I think it's very important when you're in a relationship to support your partner no matter what the endeavor. Um, if you've seen me before, you know I like to make up some little songs and. Uh, you know, once in a while, if I'm hanging out during the day, a song or two might come out. I have a big problem with that. Stop singing your immature songs. <laughs> Which is not cool. I think it's very important to support your partner. If you were my girlfriend, you would let me sing my song, right? Yes. Eat. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. What's your name? Susan. Susan. Very pretty. Susan. Nice glasses. <laughs> so, another thing too is she has a tattoo. And I gotta tell you folks, someone has to say, and I'll be the first one to say, tattoos are no longer cool. Sorry, they were cool 20 years ago when not everybody had one. 20 years ago if you had a tattoo, it said something about yourself. You know, because you stood out. Not everybody had one. If you were a guy and you had a tattoo, it said you were a tough guy. You know, you were solid, you had a tattoo. If you're a woman and you had a tattoo, it said, well, it said you were a slut, really, but not everybody has them, they're everywhere. I know tattoos have been around for thousands of years, but think back to a time when not everybody knew what a tattoo was. I'm trying to explain the concept to someone, or better yet, trying to, trying to convince someone to give you a tattoo, who doesn't know what the hell you're talking about. Can you imagine that conversation? So, wait a minute, you want me to take it? my pen and write on you? Oh, I take a needle. Oh, okay, now that makes sense, I take a needle. And then, well, how does it say? Oh, I put the needle in ink. Oh, I get it. Let me ask you something. Well, I take the needle, I dip in ink, and then I cut ink you. Do I, do I write something? Do I draw a picture? What do I do? Oh, no, I want to hear your ideas. If you want me to do this, tell me what, what you're thinking. What sort of thing you're thinking? Tell me about this tattoo. Huh, okay, so... A spider web, then, right there? Okay, okay, that's that's great. No, that's a wonderful idea. I suppose if you don't like it, you could always just wash it. Oh. Okay, because it's permanent ink. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, I, I understand that, because why in the world would anybody ever want to get rid of something like that? Uh, you're going to need that on your arm for the rest of your life. Let me ask you something, because I think you're fucking with me. I take the needle, I dip it in and then I cut into your skin. That sounds like it might hurt just... Oh, it's extremely painful. Okay, now I know you're fucking with me. Who in the right mind would ever... And then you give me money? Get the fuck out of here. That's my take on tattoos. So, I'm very happy to be here tonight, and I'm not just saying that because she's not. I'm happy to be here tonight because I just had the weekend from hell. I have friends visiting from out of state. Uh, they arrived Thursday night. I took them to Logan this morning. <laughs> it, was, it was a rough weekend, I'll tell you exactly how this went down. Back in the spring, I went to my high school reunion. I went to high school out in Oregon, and I know what you're thinking. Who the hell would fly across the country for a high school reunion? Well, I thought I should go, it was a special one, it was our 10th. And... <laughs> so I'm out there, and I don't know if you picked up on this yet, folks, but I'm not suavest guy in the world, I'm not the coolest guy, I'm a little socially inept. So I'm all the way across the country, I've seen people I haven't seen in years, so I thought it was safe to say things like, hey, next time you're in Boston, give me a call. <laughs> Last week we got a phone call, I go, where? <laughs> so they were here for the entire weekend. It was a friend from, uh, from back then, and he brought his wife, who I had never met before. It turns out she's a bit of a history buff. <laughs> yeah. And I'll tell you right now, folks, I don't normally get along with buffs. <laughs> I mean, that's, that is actually not really nice to say. Maybe just having the right kind of buff. You know what I mean? 
they say it after the day where someone says, Greg, we'd like you to meet our friend Carol. Now she's a bit of a fellatio buff. <laughs> I took her around to Old North Church, and Bunker Hill Monument, and Lexington and Concord, and all that crap, right? Things we've seen thousands of times. So on the second day, I'm kind of, you know, getting to the floor, I'm losing my mind a little bit, so as I'm driving around, I start making shit up, right? What should we do with pulling my shoes? So I'm driving from spot to spot, and it's just insane. We're coming, we came off the pipe, I lived down the street, we came off the pipe from home one night, we're driving over the river, and there's a bunch, we're approaching Harvard Square, there's a bunch of steeples in the skyline, he pipes in with, well, there's a lot of steeples here, well, that's because Cambridge is known as the city of steeples. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's in the back seat, oh, is that true? I'm kind of not, I made it up. I made sure for 24 hours, actually, it's not enough. <laughs> You know, this river we're driving over was named after the European explorer, Charles Barclay. this winter? Is it just me or every couple of years we have some type of eclipse that only happens once every hundred years? <laughs> what I want on this one? Greg and Stephen watched the eclipse, it only happens once every hundred years. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember that happening back in 1997. Cut me in. This last joke is for the guys, I shouldn't even say this. It's kind of gross, but all guys are gross. All guys are animals, they're all disgusting. I'm pure as a driven fucking snow. <laughs> But, guys, you ever cut your fingernails and for the next few days you're kind of bummed out because of certain things you can't get out of your nose anymore? <laughs> so, that's it. Thank you. Yes, it hurts. <laughs> 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 